Hey guys, what's up? It's John and Jay over at Guerrilla Games. And what's up, gamers? We're here for the second week of basically our Sealed League journal. Um, so for those of you that don't know, uh, we do a Sealed League, which is where it's just like a Sealed. You get four packs of Eldritch Moon, two packs of uh, Shadows of Innistrad, and then every week you, add, you get to add a pack to your pool. Um, so we're going to be telling you guys basically the journey that we're taking as we, you know, play with our decks, build our decks, and kind of see how they evolve from the first week all the way up to week six. Um, well, fun. Yeah. It's, Good stuff. it's awesome. We've got, I think, like 14 or 15 people signed up for it right now. It's not um, too late either. Yeah, no, Definitely absolutely not. Definitely not too late. Um, you can play makeup games and whatnot. So, so uh, I initially started out in, as a black-white sort of like value deck, um, mostly because I opened two Thalia's Lancers and a Thalia. Um, I also had some decent removal. I had uh, Boon of Emrakul, Certain Death, uh, Murder's Compulsion, and then I also managed to get the Midnight Scavengers Graph Rats combo. So I started out in white-black. Um, my deck was super slow. I had, uh, in my pool, I didn't really have any combat tricks. So Thalia's Lancers was pretty much just like a 4-4 first strike for 5. Um, and was just getting outclassed by literally everything that it hit the table against. Um, and Thalia on turn five isn't really as good, or turn six, as uh, as she is on turn three. Yeah. <laughs> so I uh, I started out 0-2, and, um, and then I took a look at my green, which I knew was pretty good. There were a bunch of green spells that I wasn't playing that I knew I wanted to play. Like, I have two Prey Upons, I've got uh, an Ulvenwald Captive, um, which I, I, I like quite a bit. I also had Briar Bridge Patrol. Um, my number one problem with my white and black uh, pool was I didn't have any good four drops. So I decided to go uh, Abzan or Junk, depends on how long you've been playing the game, what you refer to it as. Um, but so now I'm playing a three color deck, which I usually caution people to bum, not. Bum, bum. Yeah, I, I usually <laughs> tell people not to do it. But I did it. Um, I did it last sealed, and it actually worked pretty well for me. So. Um, every single card in my current pool that I'm playing with is only requires a single colored mana of whatever I need. So even though I'm playing three color, it's really not. I really haven't run into many issues. Um, mostly the only mana fix I have is I have a Deathcap Cultivator. Um, but other than that, like, so far I haven't really run into a ton of problems. Um, I'm still mostly black-white, but like I said, I've splashed for now Prey Upon, Ulvenwald Captive, uh, Deathcap Cultivator, and Briar Bridge Patrol, both of which I think improves the overall quality of my deck, because I get, you know, some more good two drops, I get some good removal with Prey Upon, I have a solid, uh, four drop in Briar Bridge Patrol. Patrol. Um... So yeah, this week I opened up a Newscraft mob, but uh, I decided not to play it since it had double black in the casting cost. Um, I do also already have uh, two six drops, which are the Morkrit Necropod and the Certain Death that I'm already running. So I didn't really want to put it into my deck just because I felt like it slowed it down um, too much. Plus, like I said, because it has the double black, I was worried about it for mana reasons. Um, I opened up a Spectral Reserves, which slotted right into my deck. Um, and yeah, I think that's just about the only changes I made. I think I might have opened a Thraven Foul Bloods, um, which I added. Um, but yeah, that's uh, once I switched over to Abzan, I'm now three and zero. So I feel like it was definitely a, you went three and zero this week. So I went. Uh, so I started out zero and two. I switched to Abzan, and you've been three and, and then since. I've been three okay. and zero since then. So I was one and two week one, and now I'm two and zero so far right now. I still have to play my third game, um, but yeah, I, I, I feel like it's it's going really well. Um, I've been really manage, managing to like grind people out, um, just because my deck my deck is super super strong late game, um, and then I've got enough removal um, early like between I've got two Sigardian priests, the two prey upons, broad malevolence, uh, murder's compulsion, boon of Emrakul, choking restraints. So I basically have like eight removal spells essentially for anything that's three or less. So uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. I was red blue. Yes. Because of my mirror wing. That was like the only great thing I opened out of my out of my initial uh, pool. Um, but this week I opened a Thalia. So I decided to swap out yeah, my blue. Thalia Thalia's really good. So far I've managed to get turn three Thalia in two games and I've absolutely crushed the person. I've so it's, I went it's so hard to like when I was blue red I went one and two. Um, I played you and I think I beat you and You then, did, yeah. And then I played Zach and got flooded, and I, I really wasn't feeling the deck uh, all that much. Um, since I've switched, um, really the only thing I, I switched out, I, I switched out all of my blue, but I switched it out mainly for Thalia. Um, 
all the other creatures kind of just traded, basically. You mm -hmm. know, I still got some flyers in here. Um, with, like, the, the Dawn Griff, uh, I got the... I got another Guardian of Pilgrims, and then I also got another Great. Choking Restraints, which, which is my, awesome. Yeah. My deck was suffering from absolutely, not absolutely no removal, but I only had one large removal spell, mm -hmm. spell, so I couldn't take care of anything on the other side of the yeah. board. If I got out fast enough, it was great. I was I was beating you down, mm -hmm. uh, and it still kind of feels that way um, with what I got in here, uh, and then Mirror Wing kind of just, you know, you're, to go you're dead. Top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, but other than swapping in Thalia, which I think is a better better uh, card than, um, what was the one I had in here? The blue... Uh, um, skulking? Yeah. It had Skull. Something like that. It had it's skull. the 3-3 three, three with Skull yeah. that lets you discard your hand to yes, draw that many that cards. One. And that um, one never, I never ended up, I did that once, I think. I mm -hmm. used that ability once. So I really wasn't feeling blue, so I decided to go white. Um, and I've only played one game so far, and I played it against um, Jeff. So, oh yeah, and he just destroyed me. <laughs> yeah, which so <laughs> Jeff, Jeff is currently like five and one, yeah. and has his pool is just absolutely it's just ridiculous. ridiculous. So, like he's got a Gisela and an assembled alphas, yeah. and, and a like, Thalia, I think. And does does he have two Thalias. I don't know. It's just insane yeah. what he's got. Um, so he just completely destroyed me. But I'm not going to base this down <laughs> on that experience. Yeah. So I've still got two more games left to play this week. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I feel like it's going to go a lot better now that I've got a little bit more removal here. Uh, as well as still that red removal. Mm -hmm. um, so, we'll see. I also threw in uh, a little bit more uh, for my uh, Mirror Wing, like the Give No Ground, which giving Mirror Wing 2-6 and everything else 2-6 <laughs> mm -hmm. kind of would be All of your creatures ridiculous. can block any number of creatures. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and they all have 2-6. So, yeah. yeah, we'll see where it goes. Uh, I'm excited to play it this week and, and get another pack next week, see yeah, if I can absolutely. get something else cool. So. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, so our sealed league nights are Tuesdays at six and Saturdays at one. Uh, like we said, it's never too late to join. Um, it's twenty five dollar entry. So, uh, if you guys want to get involved, uh, feel free. You don't have to play on. We should we should clarify. That. Yeah, you, don't you can have play, to play on literally Saturday whenever you Tuesdays. want. Um, if you and a buddy want to join, uh, or you and three buddies want to join, and you can come in on Wednesdays, all three of you. You can also play any one of us. Me, Jay, and Tony all have a deck. Uh, you can play any of us at any time during the week. Just come in and say, hey, you want to get a get a game going? As long as we uh, mm -hmm. don't have a million people in here we're dealing with, then we yes. can definitely sit down and, and uh, play a game with you. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun, and encourage everybody to, to come on by and, and play. For sure. Cool. Yeah, so uh, that'll be it for this week. We'll see you guys next week and kind of tell you the changes that we made, the evolutions, and then also how the rest of our games went. Yep. So, see you guys then. Bye. <laughs>